so much. I'm excited for S54 things, baby. Woo! Look at that. I need like a big button to push, like a big siren, like woo! New video alert, new video alert, woo! You know? You guys can't tell. This is the beginning of a new video. Jude, I think you know what we're doing today. I think you know. Do me to guess? I assume it has something to do with these parts. Probably. Probably. If you haven't been watching my videos, I'm doing a build series on my E30 and we're S54 swapping my 89, yeah, that's correct, 89 BMW E30. If you guys are new here, go check out my recent videos of me buying the S54 and doing the shave bay and everything. We're still working on that, but in the last two videos, you guys know that we were working on the S54. We stripped it down to a bare block like this, and then we got it all cleaned up, we painted the block. I have like a parts extravaganza here of all like brand new S54 parts. And if they aren't new, they've been hot tanked and they've been cleaned and everything. Like, like dude, I could eat off of all these parts. So if you guys haven't watched those videos, stop the video, or, or no, watch this video all the way through, then go watch the other videos. I had the machine shop, you know, deck the head, get the head ready, everything like that. I went over the block, we cleaned up the block, cleaned up the top of the pistons. The block didn't need decked, so we're just gonna leave it. I just cleaned the surface up and we painted the block and I had the machine shop go over all of the parts so like the cams look like they're brand new now because I had him hot tank the cams and do all that. And I also just dropped a bag on all these new parts. Timing chain guides, all the new timing chain guides, timing chain tensioner, all the gaskets and everything, head studs, more timing chain stuff. I think, let's see, I think this is the timing, yeah, this is the new, brand new timing chain. I decided to ball out on all new parts for this thing, cause I'm like, if we're gonna be putting this thing back together, we're gonna be doing it the right way, so we got all new everything. Dude, are, are you excited to see this engine? Yeah. Go back together. It's gonna look so good. It'll look awesome. Fuck. All right. Well, I I don't I don't know what else we're gonna do, so we might as well get rolling here. So before we put the front timing chain cover on and everything, we're gonna start dressing the front of the motor. We're gonna put the oil pump on. The oil pump is all taken apart right now, dude. Look how good that oil pump looks. Yeah, I know. That looks so fucking good. We're gonna put this oil pump back together. Bolt it up to the engine, then get all that bolted up, and then we can put all the timing stuff on. If you guys don't know, these oil pumps, you have to be careful of the surface right there. You don't want to scratch that or nick that because these oil pumps do not have gaskets. The reason for that, like, could you imagine your gasket going out for your oil pump and then you just lose oil pressure? So they're machined like pretty much perfectly flat to the block and everything, so they mount up perfectly so you just got to be careful of that so we're gonna put this oil pump back together so this gear sits in here take a little bit of oil that drops down in here and then throw some oil on this See how that works so oil basically like this creates a vacuum in here and then oil like it takes in oil and then it squeezes it real tight in there then it forces it out super hard and we're gonna take this Johnny we're gonna throw it in there are four tens all right guys so 
oil pumps together. I should have brought all the tools that I know that I was gonna use over here. Okay. So there's two dowel pins that go on the bottom of the block. Just goes up like that. Dude, the E30 looks so good from this angle. We're gonna take our gear and our fresh timing chain. Look at that, dude. Oh. For the E30 swap, you have to use, unless you're modifying your subframe, but I'm not, I'm using an E34 oil pan. So if you're doing that with the E34 oil pan, you have to use the S52 oil pump that came off of my last engine. But when you do that, you have to use the S54 oil pump gear because this is a little bit bigger. And if you use the smaller one, you, you won't have proper chain tension. We're gonna throw the timing chain up on and there's no like particular orientation on like, like what tooth it has. Take our gear, drop it down in there. Tensioner is spring loaded, so you have to bend the spring back when you put it on and it slides up and pushes against that. So you take this thing, we're gonna shove this on, just like that. Can I see your shirt? Is it tough? What's on it? CSL? Uh, an E21 Group 5 race car. Ooh, look at that, dude. OEM BMW. I balled out. We're gonna put our main timing chains on. These little dowel pins that come out here. I'm gonna put a little oil on them. So these things slide on nice. That's the main timing chain, and then main timing chain, main timing chain guide. And then this guy. We're gonna put a little oil on that. Is that also another guy? Yeah. Fucking BMW puts a part number right where the timing chain ride. I, it, like, thank you, BMW, for doing this. Now I gotta scrape this sticker off because if I don't, then the timing chain's gonna rub against this sticker, then everything's gonna get in my oil pan. We take our little clips that clip everything on, push the clip on. Gonna put some oil on these things and kind of like rub some oil on it so they aren't dry when the timing chain's rubbing on it. Throw that thing on real quick. Yo, that thing hard. So we're gonna get this thing on. That's on, and then this is gonna go up to the cams and everything, and everything's gonna be all good. Clean the timing chain cover off real quick. These are all the timing chain cover bolts that I have laid out here. I clean those all up. Look look how good that looks, dude. This is gonna be a brand new S54. Ugh. Now it's on. So I'm gonna go over and then we're gonna get everything snugged up. Then I'm gonna go over and make sure they're all all in order. We're gonna go around, tighten these things down until like, like you can feel the thing get snugged up and like the gasket get compressed. We have the front timing chain cover on. To prep the engine to put the head on, one of the things you have to do is rotate the engine in the way that there's no piston up all the way. If you see cylinder two and cylinder three are at top dead center, like they're all the way up. But so when you're putting in the cams and because it's like hard to like control the cams and when you're tightening them down, you have to have them you have to have the bottom end oriented in a way that any valve can be opened at any time and they won't hit the pistons. So we're gonna rotate the engine into a point where we can get it just like that. Now we're gonna go over the block surface with a little bit of alcohol. We're gonna get into it now. We're gonna take our head gasket. This is a OEM BMW head, well, it's an L-ring, but L-ring makes the OEM BMW head gaskets. Make sure your hands are clean, there's no oil on your hands. We're gonna take it out and lay it right on the block. Oh. Judith, Judith, Judith. So, 
Head gasket is on, block is ready to go. I'm getting excited, we're doing big things here, people. Big things! Now we are going to get, get the head ready to put on the engine. We're just gonna get a new paper towel and then we're gonna wipe down all of the oils. I'm gonna let that sit there, air dry for a quick second to make sure everything is off. All right guys, I'm gonna grab the head and then Jude's gonna help me kind of like straddle the timing stuff through the hole in the head and everything. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. So we're just gonna get to it and hope for the best. Go, that actually was beautiful. If you guys aren't following my Instagram, what are you doing? Go follow my Instagram, go follow Jude's Instagram and go follow Brandon's Instagram. Unfortunately, Brandon isn't here with us today, but he'll be here with us tomorrow filming because we're filming two days back to back because we love making videos so much and we love you guys. See how fast I'm talking? That's how much I'm excited for S54 things, baby. Woo, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God. Dude, this thing looks way too Good. Uh, Let the people know what we're doing. I'm letting the people, okay guys, if you guys don't know why we're so hyped up right now, at the start of this video, me and Jude were real tired and we're like, dude, we need some caffeine. I had some pre-workout sitting on deck. 400 megs of caffeine. Let's go, baby. Woo! What we're doing right now, we're gonna be dropping the head bolts in. We have these washers that go down in the head. They sit right down in there, just like that. When you're tightening the bolts down, you want the engine assembly loop to be under there so the bolt isn't like grinding on it so you get the proper torque. We're gonna get some assembly lube on them. Yeah, and then uh, does it matter how much assembly lube you use? Not really, just, just as long as it's lube on there. We have all the washers in and they're all greased up. Now we're gonna start dropping the head bolts in. These are brand new OEM BMW head bolts. I was gonna get APR head studs, but these were, I get BMW parts heavily discounted just from where I work and stuff like that. But these were $40 for me and APR head studs are $240. So I'm like, these are fine because I'm not boosting this. So what I'm doing here is I'm greasing, or I'm oiling up all the bolts. This is just important. Again, you, you want these things to all be oiled up so when you're putting them in, it's not skewing all the torque. All right guys, so I'm gonna thread all of these bolts in by hand. I got all the bolts hand threaded in and it's all bottomed out. So what we're doing now, our Torquema paper, our Torquema mop paper says, Jude right here, instructions. Warning, exclamation point. No normal, ah, oh, fuck, Jude. We can't be doing this. Why? It's a cross out on people with normal clothes in a person with overalls hat and a, in a massive fucking rinse. <laughs> we can't be doing oh, this. Fuck. So this is the torquing sequence, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you know, on and on and on. So our first initial torque, we're gonna be doing 30 Newton meters. I got our little torque wrench. We're gonna do the first sequence of our head torque right now, and it's 30 Newton meters. This is, what this torque basically does is it's just kind of cinching the head down and getting the first like grab on the head gasket. And then we're gonna go in then actually do the torque angle and like the stretch of the bolts. One, so we're gonna go ahead, three, set 22 foot pounds. Gonna go to the second one. Fuck. Now the next step, after we got everything torqued down to 30 Newton meters or 22.13 foot pounds of torque, we're gonna go over everything with a torque angle gauge. And basically what this is, this connects to your regular breaker bar. 
and you'll be going on the bolt and you'll go to tighten down the bolt and it'll tell you like, hey, we're at 90 degrees, stop. We just got done with our, our first 30 Newton meters, then we're gonna go to a 90 degree and then another 90 degree after that. 90 degrees is our target torque angle. Come over to our first cylinder here and we're gonna select it and then we're gonna start torquing. like that. Fucking sick. So that was the first round of 90 degrees that I just went through. As you guys can see, these hashes on the side are to signify the 30 degree torque angle and then the half filled circles are to signify the first 90 degrees. So now we're going to move on to the second. The head's completely torqued down and angled and angle down and everything. I had a scare, like I I hate stretch bolts so much. It's so like you're going and going. It gets 30 newton meters and 90 degree and 90 degree, and that last 90 degree is so motherfucking tight and it's uh, can can we just take one more second and just check out the headers? That's gonna be. I know you guys are thinking uh, these are Euro S50 headers and they aren't gonna work. We're gonna do a video on like making these headers work. So I have stock S54 headers. We're gonna cut the flanges off and weld it onto these and we're gonna have a nice big bundle of snakes sitting there. I am excited for that video. Yeah, it's gonna be fucking good. So we're gonna put this guy on right now. Now, are we going to torque spec with everything? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just snogging these things down, then we'll hit, we'll uh, torque these down when we torque the cams on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's video. This is going to be part one. Tomorrow, I'm going to be filming part two. So, tomorrow, I'm also going to have this uploaded. Part two, we're going to install the cams and then put on like the oil filter housing, the water pump, the front, like basically get the motor dressed and finished. Uh, dude, I can't wait to see it all together. Like these cams look brand new and everything and oh. It's just gonna, it's just, come on guys. I got an S54 going in the E30 and mm. we still got a pile of hardware on the table and a pile of shit we're gonna put in in part two. So stay tuned to that. I'll have part two up on Sunday. Super excited about this. It just looks so fucking good. I'm so excited, E30. You know, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Dream so big, it's scary. Peace out, and we'll catch you in the next one.